Hi, my name is Ariel Nerevan, and the, welcome to my project showcase, which is development of an automatic number plate recognition double authentication system in a car park setting. Uh, hi, that's me once again, uh, and this is my email if you want to contact me. So double authentication system, well, in my project, uh, there are two subsystems that are integrated together to create an automatic number plate recognition double authentication system whereby the ANPR system uh, takes the number plate image and gets the text from the number plate and integrates it with a quick response code to form two factors of identification to authenticate the driver. So what exactly is the problem? The problem uh, now is that at car parks, there is no proper authentication systems that allows for the validation of the driver. So this raises the question of safety and security at car parks. Now to add to this, uh, according to the Department of Statistics Malaysia, um, 40% or over 40% of all property related crime involves vehicle theft. Therefore, there is good demand for safe and secure car parks. Is there a market size for this? Well, yes, there is. Now, in the December of 2020, it was reported that over 17 million vehicles were registered in Malaysia. And in the last 12 years, the number of registered vehicles has gone up. And the total has been 7 million, uh, over 7 million, whereby over the, each year, there has been over 500 to 600,000 cars registered for, starting from 2010 to 2021. So what exactly is the solution here? Well, as I mentioned earlier, it is a ANPR and QR code integrated double authentication system whereby the number plate information is taken, stored, and based on that, a unique QR code is generated and given to the driver. Now, when the driver has to exit, before the driver exits, both the factors of identification, which is in this case, the number plate as well as the QR code should match in order to authenticate the driver. So here is the snapshot of the web application created. And as you can see, it says has a greeting to say, welcome to Taylor's University car park. And there are two buttons to access the security console as well as the user page. Um, here is the empty uh, snapshot of the database uh, to show that there are multiple um, entries uh, important information, which is number plate, date and time added, QR code image itself, uh, as well as two indicators to show whether the QR code has been sent from the console and received by the console. So on the left here, we have a sample image uh, illustration to show how the car is entering and stopping in front of the boom gate. And on the right, we will use an example of this image, which has a number plate of BJY6688. As the car enters, the number plate is taken and a QR code is generated as shown on screen here. And the QR code will be sent to the driver and the driver will be able to access this when he or she presses the user page button. Now the entry process is done. Um, and the number plate has been updated to show BJY6688 and the time and date added, as well as the QR code image, which is stored in binary format and an indicator showing that yes, the QR code has been set. Now, when the driver has to leave, he or she will have to come to the exit lane in front of the boom gate and the driver will have to press the button as shown earlier which is to verify QR code. Now, what this does is that the QR code will be sent back to the console and the number plate information is matched with the decoded information from the QR code uh, to show that, yes, this is the driver that's driving the car. Uh, if for some reason there is no proper verification, they will see verification error and the car will not be allowed to exit. And this is a database snapshot of the database updated with information to show that, yes, the QR code has been received. And here is a snapshot of the security console that I mentioned from the beginning. Uh, this will act as a data logger to show you know, what cars entered, what time and what date. And finally, the driver will be greeted an exit page showing an image of the front of the car. Now, what about the competition? Uh, for the competition, there are a few systems that exist. For example, there is one where there is an ANPR and facial-based recognition, recognition system. There are two, actually. And on the right, we have an uh, ANPR and RFID system. Now, the disadvantage for the ANPR and facial recognition system is that both factors of identification have to rely on strong and even lighting. So if one fails, the entire system is failed and it cannot work. On the right, for the RFID, uh, it shows that you need an external gadget installation and it will be easier to be lost or misplaced. And if the RFID is in form of a sticker, it can be easily torn or scratched uh, and damaged, so it cannot be used. So what is the advantage or advantages of the proposed solution? Well, firstly, everyone owns a smartphone. Therefore, there is an additional layer of security, such as a fingerprint or PIN number to access the phone itself. And only the driver will be allowed to exit because no one else can physically have the QR. Now, uh, the QR code, 
is an electronic code. So therefore it is sustainable because there is no printing or wastage of paper. It is easily accessible and versatile because everybody has gotten used to the usage of QR codes, whether it be in the form of a coupon or to track your, um, whether you've been infected by the COVID pandemic as we've seen recently. Um, and the versatility ties in with the future potential because it can be further upgraded to act as an e-ticketing system and it can be include, it can be modified to include more information such as the make and model of the car, the, uh, the car color, details of the driver, such as image and full name, etc., because of the capacity to encode lots of information in the QR code. Now with that, I'd like to thank you for watching this presentation. Have a good day.